morning, Bill. You coming back in from somewhere? Yeah, I just got back in from uh, just kind of doing a little scouting this morning, fishing here and there. So uh, it's been good. You know, the water temperature is about 34 degrees, but the air temperature right now is about 37. It's kind of overcast. Uh, things are really, they're, they're melting, they're getting soft and squishy. Um, just you know, one of the things I just wanted to talk about today was, you know, dressing in layers. So being in the water or so for, you know, a couple hours, and even though the air temperature is not bad, uh, layers are key. So uh, That's a nice Orvis jacket you have. Thank you. You like that Orvis jacket? Lightweight and does the job. It I love that. It does the job. Super warm. Yeah. Uh, I actually really like these new zippered waders. Oh. Uh, they actually allow you to access, and it's, like, kind of nice. <laughs> that is nice. Big enough. I got them, like, the next size up, so uh, you can fit all your gear in it. Everything was fine today. My hands got a little bit cold, uh, but my toes. So that's the one thing I wanted to mention is that once again, dressing in layers, I could have used another pair of socks. So they said they Good have those know. nice little silk like under socks that work really well. Uh, usually I have a really heavy pair of uh, hiking socks, so I'll put on two pairs of wool socks. But as far as the layers go, I got one pair of wool socks, should have had two. Then I've got my poly pros on, uh, long underwear. I've got a pair of heavy-duty fleece pants on underneath though, or over those, and then over those I've got wind pants, and then my waders, and then your upper layer is uh, I got another pair of Poly Pro, I've got a t-shirt, I've got a heavy fleece shirt, I've got my hoodie on, and then my nice Orvis jacket. Very the hoodie's nice. nice because it really blocks the wind, keeps it off your neck, and and uh, they're they're fashionably stylish. And so what is this? Oh, so this is oh oh yeah, this is just my camera. Oh, very nice. So I just have my camera attached. Uh, just in case, a couple of quick shots. We had a couple of shots of that fish this morning. Oh. And, um, you know, like one fish and a couple hours of fishing, it's pretty good. It's nice this time of year. A lot of things are starting to happen because the water's starting to move. Things are starting to break up. And, uh, and like I said, I mean, it's 37 degrees. It's comfortable enough as long as you're dressed appropriately. So, so uh, show us the rod coming. that you have. Oh, what is that? This is just the uh, old Orvis H2. Well, not the old Orvis H2, but it's a couple of years old. Yep. And then uh, that's my grandfather's Fluger reel right there. So, uh, yeah, no she's still working. Yeah, that's one I use for steelhead and browns and all that good stuff, too. And, uh, I mean, that's going to be almost as uh, like old as I am. That's <laughs> so, so cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a great reel. So it makes me feel good when I catch fish on it. So, yeah. It's awesome. Cool. So what is your plan for today? Uh, shoot off some emails, talk to some people, get things going, uh, head back home, spend some time with the kids. Perfect. And then uh, just think about uh, where I'm going to fish later on this week. Uh, I've, got a, I've actually got a, a PowerPoint presentation for the Greater Boston TU. Uh, it's down at Drumlin Farms in Lincoln, Mass. That's going to be tomorrow night. What time? Uh, I believe it's at 7 o'clock. So I'll be down there tomorrow and then I'll be back up here um, the next day and I'll be fishing the rest of the week hopefully. So hopefully we'll have some more good news by the end of the week. Nice. So looking forward to everybody coming up here and uh, things are happening. So. We're going to put more fish in the pond here in just a second. So. All right, we'll talk to you.